please welcome this week's special guest person, Mark. Uh, now, Lee, perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Mark. Well, this is Mark. Uh, hi, Mark. And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, don't say hello, you rude bugger. <laughs> I, uh, I actually employ Mark solely to manage my iPod. You've changed. <laughs> John, what is Mark to you? I cut the ribbon at the opening of Mark's karaoke superstore. <laughs> and finally, Dom, what's your relationship with Mark? Well, Mark's a, um, a good mate of mine, and we used to be in a, a magical double act, and uh, we used to be called Mysterio and Mark. So, <laughs> that's, 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 uh, so there you are, a professional iPod manager, according to Lee, a karaoke <laughs> shopkeeper, if you believe John, or a former magical partner of Don's. <laughs> uh, David, time to interrogate the enemy. This double act, yeah. what was it called again? Mysterio and Mark. So you chose Mysterio as a name and he chose... Yeah, and that's the reason why we uh, had to part separate ways in the end right. is just because he was just Mark and had to go. OK. And weren't you expelled from Magic Circle? Yes, I was. <laughs> for being a very naughty little wizard. <laughs> so, uh, Lee... Uh, yes, David? When did you come to the point of realising that your iPod had just got on top of you and you... <laughs> and you needed to get in some help? Now, I've got, I've got hundreds of albums, I bought the iPod. Oh, now, I don't know anything about computers, so... Uh... It's, it strikes me that an iPod is a machine for putting music on itself, right? <laughs> you already have a machine for doing that, and you're paying a person to work that machine. <laughs> do you, I mean, do you use your own toaster, or do you also <laughs> self-contract that? So, so do, I don't know, I mean, I know nothing about electricity, and, I, you know, I, so I just give him the bread, <laughs> and tell him where the toaster is, and some sort of miracle happens, <laughs> and it's just a lot quicker than Way. It's all right for you with your private education. I don't understand <laughs> the basic no, principles. They did not, you know, my I top posh boy, I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm telling you now that I, un I understand the concept of getting it from the machine to the iPod. If I'm going to be honest, I don't know how you get it onto the computer in the first place. Right. Okay. Unless you put the CD well, in, which takes forever. Putting the CD in does not take forever. How does it get from the computer onto the iPod? Down a wire. I mean, you don't have to stand over it. The computer will just sort uh, of do it for... I'm a control freak. Right. I know. No, no, no. I know. If you're a control I know what's going to happen. If you're a control freak... Why are you letting someone else do this? <laughs> if you're so... <laughs> David, 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 David. Furthermore, it's a good if, if furthermore, if I can ask you to shut up this time, you, you... you So you didn't have the guts to say you're working class piece of scum? <laughs> I actually... It's funny, is it? I, I actually didn't have the time to get it out, because you'd already interrupted. <laughs> David, so, David, before you get so, too angry, it no, is possible but, but, that he's lying. Okay. That is the case for Lee. Yeah. But, uh, we have one more. It'll be what? John, yeah. uh, who claims that he's uh, a karaoke shopkeeper. What is a karaoke shop? <laughs> a shop that sells karaoke stuff. John, how much were you paid? How much was I paid? Yes. You didn't do it for charity, let's face it. <laughs> Well, actually, I did, because I felt like giving back to the community. <laughs> yeah. what, what did you take in from the community? <laughs> and also, that's not for... Doing it for free for a karaoke store isn't doing it for charity. That's actually doing it for a karaoke store. <laughs> I don't think much comic relief money goes to karaoke stores. <laughs> We've got to keep getting the karaoke out there. It's so different. The overheads are vast. <laughs> What so is it, this is like a high street store where someone who's just wandering past, getting some vegetables, maybe a book at Waterstones, or maybe I'll fit out a karaoke bar. <laughs> it's, a, it's in an industrial uh, estate, not on the high street. Whereabouts? The, I, I don't know the exact location. Oh, you lying bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you just love a Doctor Who villain to talk like that to you? <laughs> oh, you lying bastard! <laughs> A decision. So David's team is this man, Lee's labour-saving iPod technician, John's karaoke aficionado, or Dom's illusionist cohort. Well, I mean, the th thing is, Dom I know, is a magician, you. so it's a very plausible yeah. story that he was in a magician double act. If the iPod thing is true, then you're not the man I thought you were, Lee. <laughs> and, you know, that's the price you'll pay for this petty victory. <laughs> <laughs> so... 
Yeah, I'm, I think I'm with you. I think it's, it's Dom I'll at the moment. I'll go with that. I'll yeah. go with that. OK, you're saying it's Dom. Yeah. Uh, Mark, perhaps you'd like to reveal your own identity. John Diddle, my karaoke superstar. <laughs> Thanks very much and well done to Mark.